University of Utah nursing students can now train for life-threatening situations with a high-tech mannequin. News for Utah's Rosie Nguyen sat in class to see how it works. This baby looks real, but it's actually a high-tech mannequin. Baby How here can respond to chest compressions, giving nursing students an opportunity to practice life-saving techniques without hurting an actual baby. One, two, three, four, five. When it comes to a code blue, every second matters. A mistake could mean life or death, except in this scenario. Instructors watch nursing students from another room to see how they work together to save this baby mannequin. Well, they um, practice their assessment skills, so actually um, figuring out what's going on with the patient, what's not only the patient but the safety and whatnot in the room, um, what's the situation and how they need to respond to that. The mannequins can breathe, blink, and bleed. Um, if you feel for pulses in their wrists, you can actually feel their pulse. If you shine a light into their eyes, their pupils will react to the light, and so with brain injuries, some will react. After the simulation is over, instructors debrief with students on how they did. They say it's a relief to know there's room for error if they don't get it right the first time. It kind of provides that comfort level where it's okay to practice and it's okay to like mess up, you know, because it is a plastic doll. In addition to these simulators, Dr. Butt says they anticipate on launching a virtual reality pilot program in the fall. Reporting at the University of Utah, Rosie Nguyen, News for Utah. Each of those mannequins cost about $50,000. Administrators are now raising money to purchase another one.